Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is an exciting one for me because thanks to Argetus Audio, I have my dream CD player. Since 1998, I have wanted to listen to this and review this when it was called the uh, uh, EMC1-UP. Now it is called the EMC1-MK4. So a lot of iterations have come through the years uh, before I got this in my house but it was totally worth the wait because I've got the latest edition. Uh, really, this thing needs no introduction as far as aesthetics. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, the beautiful blue display window, you can see it from across the room. Uh, really nice uh, uh, plexiglass front that makes the uh, font behind the display look three-dimensional. Uh, the beautiful uh, gold anodized buttons, uh, wonderful mechanical feel to them. Uh, this thing is... Uh, <laughs> The chassis is phenomenal. It's 39.6 pounds, almost 40 pounds. It's a heavy weight. Uh, beautiful attention to detail, like this little plaque with the glowing logo that turns on with the display. And uh, the plaque showing that it has the 24192 up sampling. Now, this does use uh, balance DAX, uh, very low noise floor, uh, minus, I believe it's minus 130 dB. Uh, that makes a big difference, guys. When I was listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan's uh, Roughest Place in Town, you could actually hear the buzz of his uh, amplifier on the guitar in the background. It was extremely clear. Uh, as far as, well, heck, let, let me show you the back, too. If we're going to show the front, we might as well show the back. Let me flip you around here. Uh, we've got the uh, balanced, uh, True Balanced XLRs, uh, single-ended option as well. We have the power cord, which is really cool. It's right in the middle of the player. Nice positioning. And then you have the uh, trigger over here as well and the optical uh, and uh, coaxial outs if you want to send it out to a deck. Um, the sound of this thing, well, well, first of all, let me talk a little bit more about the mechanical. I'm not using these because I've got them on my still point, so I wanted to do a fair AB comparison with my Macintosh. But take a look at the feet. They have their own decoupling system in them, that little metal ball that clicks in and decouples the chassis from the, from the ground. Uh, this piece is six thousand uh, dollars. I've heard other CD players from Audio Research, you know, in the twelve thousand, fourteen thousand dollar range, and I really feel honestly that this keeps up with those. It has a very analog sound, a very tube-like sound. It definitely uh, tilts toward the side of uh, polite and uh, darker rich. However, uh, let's get into to the sound before I play you guys a sample. Uh, this has uh, a lot of authority. Uh, extremely wide, deep soundstage filled the room. I was really surprised how open this thing is. Uh, but really, the, the foundation, it shakes the floor. This has really good bass. Uh, the mid-range vocals are better than on my Macintosh. They're definitely more present in the room and fuller. Uh, and the highs are sweeter as well. To be honest, I, I'm going to compare this to my Macintosh MVP861 because that's my reference. They 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 give a different performance. Okay, not one's not better over the other. Uh, you can say, well, this does that better than the other one, but overall, it's just a different presentation or different interpretation that this device is giving us. Okay, so uh, I I will not be sad putting my Macintosh my Macintosh back in the system at all. But I really have enjoyed the presentation that this player has given me this week. And again, thank you to Argus, Argetus Audio for, for allowing that. Okay, um, painting a picture. This piece, using an analogy, it's like you're in a room with the band next to you playing and the, and the analog feed is coming into you in the other room. Uh, it's like an oil painting. Layers, textures, colors. You never get tired of hearing what's in the recording. Really, stuff I've really never heard presented this way. It's it's like a bacon a cake. You can see the sugar go in and the egg go in and the chocolate go in. It's just a mixture, a beautiful mixture of uh, audio delights. Um, really, really unique. And again, I haven't had that much experience with players at this high of a level. And you really do start hearing what you're getting for the money. Uh, just so much more is there in the in the song. The Macintosh is more like looking out at a starry night or, or uh, uh, being outside at an outdoor palladium listening to the music. It's almost unplugged. It's natural. It's live. I really like that sound, but it definitely doesn't have that foundation and those layers and textures that you get out of this player. Okay, so enough talk about what I liked, and let me just play a song so you guys can hear for yourself. Uh, what I'm going to be playing today 
is it took three weeks to get here. I had to order it from Japan. It's uh, the Sonny Clark Memorial Quartet, uh, Voodoo. That's the name of the CD, and that's the name of the song we're going to play. That's uh, track five, Voodoo. It's a long one, okay? So uh, if you get tired of hearing it, you can fast forward to the end of the video and hear my follow-up. But if you uh, just want to jam out to this and listen, man, there's so much... So much information in this uh, song, and that's why I waited to do this review. It took three weeks to get the CD here from Japan, but I wanted you guys to really hear this particular song because I think it does the CD player justice. And again, CD players aren't dead. John Darko just did a review last month about how he loves his CD collection and it's still the best sound quality. Steve Guttenberg had a female reviewer that said she would never, ever get rid of her CDs. And I'm the same way. I just listen to vinyl. I listen to CDs. I don't stream. I know MQA is doing some great things with streaming, but right now um, I'm just in love with my CD collection and I believe it's going to make a comeback, uh, that, that hard media, just like uh, vinyl did. So uh, with that being said, I will uh, start the song.
Okay guys, that was, uh, there it was. And a lot of texture, a lot of detail, a lot of impact. Um, this player really just does it all. I'm, they say not to meet your heroes, but uh, in this case I was highly impressed. Uh, I should be, oh, one more thing too. This does do 24, 192 up sampling, and I'm usually not a fan of that. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video, but I like 24, 96, and I'm really surprised that this has the, the meatiness and the weight and the impact uh, doing it at, at 24, 192. I'm, I'm happy with that. Very impressed. I should be getting a, either a Luxman integrated amp in uh, to uh, substitute the Macintosh out just to have a comparison. Argetus Audio is now a Luxman dealer, and it's on the way. Or I may even get another electric company at piece, um, a integrated amp as well to compare. So lots, lots of fun things uh, still to come. Guys, thanks so much. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're just a couple away. I really appreciate the positive comments, the input. Um, I learn from you guys. We learn from each other. It's a wonderful hobby. Thank you so much for keeping it alive with me and for supporting my channel. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.